Fountain City has been fighting mold now in their apartment for more than a year. Yeah, and we're not talking a small amount here. The damp environment has really taken over nearly every wall in their small unit. So they asked WATE six on your side consumer reporter Don Dare to see for himself what they've been living with, Don. Well, they say the apartment they have been living in was very unhealthy, uh, but there is good news tonight. New management that has just taken over. Uh, repairs are underway, and we'll see okay. those repairs in just a moment here. In some cases, mold in your home can make you sick, especially if you have allergies or asthma. Whether or not you're allergic to mold, exposure can irritate your eyes, skin, nose, throat, and lungs. For Daryl Mole and his girlfriend, living in mold has been very unpleasant. You have a lot of moisture in your bedroom. Now, Don, we have too much moisture in the bedroom. Daryl Mole has been fighting a losing battle and beating back mold that has spread throughout his apartment. Started leaking over right here, and it went that way, and this way. Every time it rained, it flooded. This is all mold. Yeah, yeah. We moved the bed in his apartment to see the damage, which started more than a year ago. It's breaking the wall, it's caving it in, it feels damp from the touch, yeah. it's, and the carpet stays wet. The carpet stays wet? Yeah, it never dries. Daryl is disabled. He contracted viral encephalitis at the age of 16. It's an inflammation of the brain caused by a virus. This mold started shortly after the bedroom flooded for the first time. You can see it just kept growing and growing and growing. The walls in the living room and dining area are covered in mold. It's apparent water has seeped in behind the walls. You can see it's as flimsy as a piece of paper. It's just all the way down. It's just no good. Daryl and his girlfriend live in Fair Hill Apartments. He pays $450 a month for the one bedroom, one bath unit. How is your health with all this? Uh, well, my mind was congested. My nose stays stopped up and my headaches occasionally. There is no central heat or air in the apartment. Daryl says his original apartment managers brought in baseboard heaters last year. Six foot long and they cost a lot of money. I bet they do. Do both of them work? No, only one of them works. Only one works? Yes, sir, and I thought was when I got it. Countless things have been ruined. I have a cat and it has breathing problems because of the mold. Mm -hmm. it, it's just not safe for anybody to live here and sleep here and breathe this in. Daryl's girlfriend is Heather Burnham. There's mold above the door, there's mold in the kitchen, it just, it's everywhere. The corners are probably the worst, I think, because the condensation just builds up. We did some checking. In October 2017, Knoxville's Codes Department ordered the management at Fairhill Apartments to fix things, to repair water leakage in Darrell's apartment, to fix the heating and air system, to replace the wet carpets, among other things. That was under all management, they come out, made a list of everything, I guess, that needed to be done. Said they had 120 days. Nobody ever fixed anything. Daryl received this letter from Rand Properties at the end of December. It says Daryl's apartment complex is under new management. The letter said repairing and upgrading the complex would be made over time. Daryl said he called the management but received no timetable. And you're on the list. You're on the list. Uh, 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 what does that mean? He said, we'll get to it when we can. The week before last, we went to the local office for Rand Property Management, where we met with two managers. We were told emphatically Mr. Mull's apartment is going to be repaired, that fixing the interior and exterior of the building is a priority and is on the schedule. Within days, Rand Property Management had a team of workmen at the complex. Rand said its crew is working diligently to fix maintenance issues, which includes waterproofing the foundation wall, removing all water damaged items inside the units. Rand said it's invested in conducting business in an ethical manner to create clean, safe, and affordable housing. This is something that the other management did not do. No, no sir, I am very pleased at what they're doing now to make up for what the last landlord did not. While repairs are being made, Rand Property Management put Daryl up in a local motel and gave him a gift card for food. They told me that they were very, very upset at the conditions that we were living in and told me that they would make sure that everything would be fixed. Daryl is expected back in his apartment by the end of this week. Now, Rand Property Management said they made a visual inspection before they purchased Fairhill Apartments, but were unable to address any issues until they officially owned the complex, which was December 28th. Darrell says Rand Management is keeping him up to date on progress being made to his apartment, 
And as you heard, he is very grateful. And Bo and Kristen, other units at this apartment complex in need of repair, they're also going to be fixed. Yeah, Glad I was, to see them I was wondering in. if there were some other groups or other people complaining as well, but it sounds yeah. like that's being taken care yeah, of. Yeah, the, so. the building was old back to the yeah. 70s and it needed a lot of repairs, but the old management didn't do anything, but this new management ran is, is on the ball right now. Class being taken care of. Yes, sir. All right, thank you, Don. Hey, if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare at wat.com. You can also call us six on your side hotline at 865-633-5974.